Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel AT Commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about show orders in admin section. So let's see how can we show orders in admin section. So first of all, uh, let's create a new live wire component uh, for orders. Okay, so switch to the command prompt. And uh, for creating new live wire component, just type here the command php artisan make colon uh, live wire space directory name which is admin and component name uh, let's say component name is admin order component all right now press enter component created now run the application so just write here php artisan serve all right now switch to the project and uh, let's create the route for this component. So just go inside the routes directory and then open web.php file. And inside this file, uh, just go inside the admin uh, middleware uh, inside this group. Okay. And after this, let's create a new route here. So just write here route column column get and URI. Just write here the URI admin slash orders all right now add here the component class name which is admin order uh, component okay then colon colon class and also give the route name so write your name and route name admin dot orders all right okay now save this file now let's open the admin order component class file so just go inside the App directory then HTTP live wire and uh, admin and from here just open uh, admin uh, order component.php file okay this one and inside this file first of all let's add the layout so here just write layout and inside this pass here the layout name so first add here the layouts directory name then layout name which is base all right okay now Inside uh, this render method, here uh, let's fetch all orders. So create here the, uh, an object here. Orders is equal to model name order colon colon order by uh, created created add and Add here order by descending order okay so write here desc then call paginate method paginate and add here the pagination size uh, let's add here the pagination size uh, 12 okay all right now let's pass these orders to the component view file so inside this just add here comma and inside the array orders arrow dollar orders okay all right now save this file and now let's open the admin uh, order component view file so from the resources directory resources views uh, live wire and from here just open uh, live wire admin okay and uh, from here just open admin dash order dash uh, component.blade.php file all right okay now here uh, first of all just remove this and inside this uh, view file let's add here a table okay so uh, before adding the table just create a container here so write here dot container okay and also give some padding so right here style adding top and bottom 30 pixel and left right 0 all right and now add here the row and then column column md12 okay now inside this let's add here the panel dot panel dot panel default all right and after this panel heading then panel body 
panel body okay and inside this panel heading simply write here uh, all orders okay and inside this uh, panel body uh, let's create a table here so write here table class table table dash a strip okay this one this class and inside this t head then tr th and add here the column name order id order id then uh, display here the subtotal just copy and paste subtotal and here discount then tax and uh, total okay and after this to here the first name first name then last name mobile number email id mobile email and also share uh, show here the zip code zip code and uh, the status order status okay and one more order date okay order date all right now after this add here t body and inside this add here the for each directive for each dollar orders as dollar order and inside this for each directive add here dr dr then td and just display here the order id order arrow id and now uh, let's copy this and paste multiple time and change here the column name for subtotal right here subtotal small small letter okay subtotal then discount tax first uh, total then first name last name first first name and here last name all right and now add here for mobile email zip code status and order date okay for mobile just write here mobile email and here uh, zip code small case okay and the status and order date for order date just write here created underscore add all right now for showing the pagination link uh, after this table after this uh, closing table tag just write here double curly bracket dollar orders arrow links all right and now uh, uh, after this uh, just add here some CSS for pagination so add here style tag then write here nav svg and set here the height 20 pixel 
okay and one more thing nav dot hidden and write here display block important all right Okay, and one more thing uh, before showing this subtotal, let's add here the dollar sign, dollar sign, and uh, also before this discount tax, and uh, for before the total. Okay, now it's done. So save this file, and one more thing, uh, just go inside the layout directory, a uh, layout file. Uh, so uh, from resources directory, resources layouts. Then open the base uh, layout file base.blade.php file. Just go inside the admin menu, and you can see here this is the admin menu. And uh, here, after this, uh, let's copy this li and paste here and change here the text all orders. Okay, and now here the route name admin dot orders okay you can see here the route name which is admin dot orders so copy and paste here all right and also add here the title change here the title order okay now save this file all done so let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page All right, now go inside the admin menu and you can see here the link for all orders. So just click on this link. And now you can see here the all orders. Okay, you can see here the order ID, subtotal, discount, tax, total, first name, last name. Okay, mobile, uh, email ID, zip code, status, order date. Okay. So in this way you can show orders in admin section. Uh, in next video we will see how can we show the order items, billing, uh, shipping and transaction details okay order wise each orders okay. So that's all about show orders in admin panel. So thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.